1913 here and today I have a quick unboxing of the Fujifilm Instax Mini 90 Neo Classic in brown. So let's get started. So I bought this at Henry's and it came with 10 uh, film. And stack mini films. It's pretty much just the colorway. It also comes in black, pictures, and then on the side or on the front, it shows the actual picture uh, or actual size of the film. Pretty much a credit card size. So just a quick fire. Some instructions and warranty in different languages. Camera strap, which is in black, which is kind of weird because the camera is brown, but that's cool. So it just says Instax. And then food from on the other side, and it's like a leather material. More warranty information. Here we've got the battery, which does have a battery with it. So you just charge that. This is where you put it. This is for the North America charging outlets. Just slide it in like that and it plugs into your wall. Here is the battery which is very thin. Very small. Uh, these are custom hooks so then you can hook uh, your straps on to the camera. And here's the physical camera itself. Taking a quick look at the Instax Neo 90. Here's the front. And as you can see, the little lens is not um, in the same position as the viewfinder. So definitely make sure you know that before you're taking photos because it will be a little off. There's a little selfie mirror for the people obsessed with looking at themselves or taking photos of themselves. Um, a little flash and the material is kind of a rubbery material and then this is plastic so on the back you've got a couple of buttons and these are not buttons they're just for grip on the top it says Fujifilm Neo Classic and there's the shutter release and then this this is to connect the little eyelid pieces that I was talking about. So pretty much you open it up and that's where you put the battery. On the other side, that's where the Instax um, film comes out of. It's pretty nice. Other side, pretty much nothing. This looks like it's a tripod mount, so you can uh, screw it into a tripod, which is really nice. In the back, another one of those clip things for your strap. So pretty much this is how you open it. And this is where you insert the film. There's a yellow indicator, and that's also on your film. And then pretty much you um, insert it. So I'll show you how to do that in just one second. So in order to um, load these into the camera, you're going to need your battery, which you can put on the back, arrow to arrow, put it in there, and as you can see the LCD screen oh, very briefly turned on. It's a 
fairly nice material. It's very rubberized uh, feeling. So pretty much take the lid, open her up, take your Instax film. These are not Polaroids. Polaroid is the name brand. It's not a physical film. These are Instax. Like I said, there's 10, and these are like 10 bucks each, which is a lot of money. So definitely make sure you're not just taking photos of like random stuff, or you can, it's up to what's your stuff. So this is where the actual little film pieces are. So as you can see, yellow. Yellow. Drop it in there. And as you can see, the little film came out the first one. And that's going to happen each time you buy a pack of these. So the way you turn your, your camera on is you actually, until the lens protrudes out. And I'll take a photo, of, uh, photo for you and I'll show you what it looks like. So I decided to take a photo of my cat Macy, so this is how I'm going to do it. Take the camera, look in the viewfinder, which is right here, and remember the lens is here. So make sure you can compensate for that. Take it out and just let it sit. So pretty much you just have to wait. And as you can see, it's already coming up. Don't shake it. Kind of just leave it the way it is. Now don't expect high quality pictures. This is literally just for fun. Um, if you're expecting high quality stuff, get a DSLR. This is just for instant fun kind of stuff, even though this is 10 bucks each, which is ridiculous. It's a dollar a photo. So as you can see, it's slowly developing. So while, that, while that's developing, just put that over there. So with the camera, I'm just going to shut it off, so like I did before, and now it's officially shut off. So as you can see, more or less fully developed. Now going back to the camera. So as you can see, now I have only nine photos left. So now when you press mode, it'll give you different options. This is more party mode. This seems like for kids, I guess. I don't know. That's more landscape, so everything more in focus, a deeper depth of field. This looks like maybe double exposure mode. So if you want kind of two photos overlapping over each other. And this is no flash. So this is macro. This one is various settings. You can use various settings with this one. This one is timer. This is flash if you want your flash on and off, which the other ones don't have that option. The flash goes off no matter what, which is 
really sucks, so that's a nice option to have. So thank you so much for watching. If you thought this video was nifty, please give it a thumbs up.